This week's tour stop, not only were we able to find out the top 125 for the year, but there was also that jockeying going on for the top 30 and this week's tour championship. Yeah, I watched the tournament. I could tell there was no Mickey Mousing around because with everyone battling out for the top 30 to get to Tulsa, you could tell there was a lot of serious things going on. I like your play on words. Very nice. <laughs> Let's recap the Walt Disney World Oldsmobile Classic. He always knew he could do it. But Tiger Woods had played against the big guys in the past with limited success, so there were still doubters. Well, see, you guys don't understand. <laughs> Is it the fact that you know, when you're in school, when you got papers to write, got tests to take, and it's kind of hard to get any kind of rhythm to play. And I figured if I started playing out here, I would be okay because I'd play week after week after week and I'd get into a rhythm. And uh, that's exactly what happened. That rhythm led Tiger to one win in Las Vegas and three other top five finishes in only seven events. And heading into the Walt Disney World Oldsmobile Classic, Tiger, who was once only hoping for his tour car, was now trying to play his way into the tour championship. Fighting off a cold and the rest of the field, Tiger three-putted twice on the backside, but he always had a brilliant response. Heading to the 72nd hole, Payne Stewart and third round leader Taylor Smith had a chance to force a playoff. After knocking it to within 10 feet, Payne was in pain after his birdie attempt rolled clear of the hole. And now it was Smith's chance to take Tiger to extra holes. Smith's gutty performance was for naught, as tour officials declared that his putting grip was non-conforming, and he was subsequently disqualified. I know you can't have a flat top or a rib in the putter unless it's one continuous grip, and I noticed somewhere on about four or five, I hit, first time I really even looked at the putter, and I thought, you know, it kind of looks like a flat grip, but I mean, I'm sure it's not because he's not going to have that. I feel like I should be in a playoff right now because of what Taylor did. I'm burning the last hole to get into it, but, uh, you know, unfortunately, he had a non-conforming putter grip, and uh, I feel bad for him because he played his heart out on, on the last round. And to paraphrase Tigger the Tiger from Winnie the Pooh, the wonderful things about Tigers are the wonderful things that they do. And Tiger Woods is now looking for more wonderful things at Southern Hills. I'm going to go there and, uh, and try and do my best and try and win. Let's see what happens. The field is now set for this week's season-ending tour championship in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After missing his first tour championship last year due to back problems, Fred Couples is back, making his ninth appearance in 10 tries. Tommy Toll's terrific sophomore season has earned him a spot in his first PGA Tour finale. Tiger Woods' second win in 10 starts this season moved him to 23rd on the money list, as well as all the way up to 37th on the Sony World Rankings, the fastest rise in history. And after missing last year's tour championship by $19, Jeff Sluman makes the field. Meanwhile, Lee Jansen was bummed. 